USA explained in 30 maps. Really interested to see what we got with this video. Before we do jump in this, around like 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. You're one of the 80%. I appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button down below. I'm also posting extra content to my Patreon page. Link in the description. But yeah, let's jump in this and check this out. These 30 maps of the USA are explaining everything. Everything. Let's start with a really captivating one. This map shows the obesity rate in all of the US. Oh. But there is a catch. First, okay, way, darker I colors mean a higher... I see where we're going with this. I see where we're going with I, I was thinking more like geography kind of maps, but we're going with like, okay, stats and stuff. A percentage of obese adults, which makes Mississippi the worst, with around 15% of the obese population. Interesting. It's not that much, right? Well, this map is from 1990. If we move forward to the year 2009, this is what the map looks like. The darkest hues now... Yo, bro, that must have been the introduction of fast foods. I, bro, <laughs> yo, how we just go from, okay. Unify a staggering 30 to 35% obesity rate. Colorado is good. the last state that is at the same level as the Mississippi was just 19 years ago. Oh, wow. Fast forward to today. West oh. Virginia, Oklahoma, and Louisiana are the most obese states with an astonishing. Yo. 40 to 45 percent that is crazy yo fast forward 10 years it might be like 70 bro listen it just comes down to good food though how can you can't help it like if you're watching this right now and you're classified of obesity i just know you eat good <laughs> you eat good and you get to choose however you want to live life man astonishing 40 to 45 percent of their population battling obesity wow the next map shows how dangerous obesity could be this is the average life expectancy in each state okay. here darker shades indicate a longer lifespan Hawaii takes the lead with an impressive average age of 81 years. Oh, wow, that's pretty Contrastingly, cool. Mississippi trails behind, boasting an average age of 72 years, a notable nine year gap from the Hawaiian paradise. Oh, well, Mississippi at the time was the most obese. Okay, interesting. States like West Virginia, Louisiana, Alabama, and more feature among the lowest life expectancies. I must say, there is some correlation with the obesity map. I can see it. I can see it. As we it. know, the US could... But listen, it don't take a rocket science to link that, you know, obesity and, and fatty foods and bad foods and takeaways is bad for you and going to, you know, bring your health. Like, look at me. I'm drinking Coke all the time. I'm drinking... I'm having fast foods all the time. I might not look obese, but my insides, my life, especially I'm telling you right now, is going to be on the low end. And you know what? Life is life, bro. Enjoy it, man. It would be a truly I dangerous am. place. The what? As we know, the US could be a truly dangerous place. Okay. These are the most safest and dangerous states in the US. More oh, blue on the bad. map means safer, while red signals danger. Oh, the wow. most dangerous state in all of the US is New Mexico. But what could be more shocking is that second comes Alaska with an extraordinarily high crime rate. On the flip side, New Hampshire is hailed weather. as the safest state. Followed by Maine. This is really interesting because, like, from like the looks of it, the more north, the safer it is. Not th th there's still places like obviously like around here, isn't this where like Detroit is? But like, you know, generally speaking, it, it is yeah, it is safer the more north you go. New Jersey, Connecticut, and Vermont. Now, this one could surprise you. This map reveals the most common ancestors of people in each state. Germany! At first sight, it might seem like a miracle that German isn't a prevalent language in the USA. Huh? Meanwhile, the South inherited a lot of genes from Mexico due to its proximity and the fact that this part of the country used to be Mexican what territory. Only three states have English ancestry as the majority. What? Then there are a few Irish, some Italian. I never knew about. I, I'm, I'm actually mind blown by the Germany. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize that. Italians, Japanese in Hawaii, quite a lot of Americans, and even more African Americans, basically in all of the Southeast. But remember, we are yeah. talking about ancestors here. Mad. 
Today, the situation has radically changed and new immigrants are coming from totally different countries. Each flag represents the most common country of birth for foreign-born residents, excluding Mexico. Well, now what, we... What? What is... Uh... Oh, wait, is this India? Is this the India... Oh, no. You can see that instead of Germans, yeah, the is. states are dominated by Indians, which okay, leads yep. in total of 22 states. Some of the other prevalent nations are Filipinos in the west right. and Canadians in the north. See, Filipinos and... Wait, Philippines... Is that close? That, that's close to America on the left side, right? I suppose... Canada makes sense. Complete sense. India's quite far, though, isn't it? But what about the native population that once occupied this big land? Well, unfortunately, their numbers have significantly decreased. Oh, Today, wow. the Native Americans live only in small areas, making less than 1% of the entire American population. Alaska wow. has the highest percentage, with about 20%, while Vermont, New Hampshire and Hawaii have the lowest rates with less than 0.7%. Yeah, that map was crazy. Let's talk about the money. The USA money. remains the world's leading economy. Right, But does okay. that mean that everyone makes good money? Not quite. This is the minimum wage in each state. And as you can see, the American dream is not the same everywhere. The best place to start seems to be Washington, where right. you would get a minimum of $16.28. Meanwhile, 20 states keep the federal minimum wage of only $7.25, which is more than two times less. That's crazy. Why is this whole left side like wealthy and then or, or the right side is... It's like the sides are quite wealthy. It, it's like a pathway. We, we go from the left, do, 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 and then we cut across here, we got a little path to the right. But $10 isn't the same everywhere. Consider this map showing the salary needed to afford an average home. Darker red means a higher oh, salary is required. Even though you earn double in Washington. You See, listen, making more money isn't necessarily better than another state that's making less money. Because cost of living, like, bro, e e each people from this state and this state, you know, d these guys in this state, even though they're making less, they're paying less, they probably have more money. You will likely spend double on more or, or less similar house. Hawaii takes the crown for the most expensive, requiring around $150,000 in salary for an average home. What? Now the best place to live seems to be West Virginia, with only $38,000 in salary needed a to year? afford a house. This Bro, Hawaii, you have to make $150,000 a year? <laughs> this calculation is based on a 30-year mortgage with a 10% down payment. Wow. This time, let's wipe every state of the map. Do you know which of them was the first one? A hint is that it was somewhere in and this the right area. Side. The first... I'm gonna go with Maine. ...state ever was Delaware, no, established in 1787. He was quickly followed by Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Next year, another eight states joined. Since then, each state has gradually become part of the USA. Hawaii okay. was the last state to become part of the US Makes sense. in August 1959, completing the list of the 50 United States we know today. Nevertheless, did you know that these are not the only territories under the control of the USA? The one you probably know about is Puerto Rico, which okay. is not an official state, but an unincorporated territory with Commonwealth status. And there are even more of them. They have different official statuses, but all of them are under the control of the US. Five of How these many? are inhabited, while the rest are nine uninhabited islands, okay. atolls, and reefs. They are used mainly for scientific or military purposes. Now, when we have established all 50 states, can you actually remember them? This map shows how well each state is remembered. This is actually, bro, this would be, a this is a really good video, by the way. I actually enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, this is, this will be a good game. Top 10 popularity. I'm just going to do my top 10 right now as somebody that's not from America. So you got, you got New York. Wait, you got pinpoint them on the map. 
Oh. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. Okay, first one. Texas. Boom. Alaska. Boom. That's two, right? California. Washington DC or Washington, right? There's uh there's four. Um um Florida. New York. No, no, no. New uh, 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 where is it? New, New, New York. I don't know. I'm just, I, bro, it's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. Um, ah. Uh, see, like, I know, like, Ohio is somewhere around here. I'm going to go with Ohio. Colorado. This is bad. This is very, this is very, very bad. Mississippi. New Mexico. Ten. That's my 10. That's my 10 that came to the top of my head straight away. I don't know. Let me know how I did. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe it. I actually, I genuinely, on, on the map, I genuinely can't pinpoint New York. That's bad. That's really bad. I just know it's somewhere here. I think it, Let's just go. Let's just move on. More orange signifies being more forgotten. Among the most popular states are California, yep. Nevada, Washington, Texas, yep. Florida, yep. and New York. Meanwhile, That's easily big. forgotten states include Maryland, Iowa, or Indiana. Sure, which state yep. stands out as the most memorable or forgettable for you? Well, hey, listen, listen. If you're from those states, hey, no, nothing means by it. You know what I mean? It, it just means... The other states, the popular states, they just get headlined in the media a lot more for, you know, for things, right? For things. <laughs> in order to know and remember a lot of things, such as names of the states, you need to be literate. What you can see now huh? are states differentiated by the average English literacy. As the worst of all comes California, with only 76.9% of the population what? being literate. Like this means that well? one in five people there may struggle with reading or writing in English. Oh, Right behind California comes New York, Florida and Texas. Oh, Meanwhile, wow. state that deserves praise for 94% of the literate population is Minnesota. Above the 90 percent level are most of the northern states the next one oh i could have said when i was guessing wait is this north dakota no no this is north dakota north dakota south dakota right oh i could have said that bro quite correlates with the literacy rate this map shows the number of adults who were incarcerated I mean, Louisiana and Mississippi. What is happening there? They are the worst states by far, with approximately 1.1% of the adult population in jails or state prisons. Oh, what? A thousand out of a hundred thousand? What? Most of the southern states are leading in this metric, Yo. which is not particularly the best achievement. Point for Massachusetts, as there, the number of adults in jail and state prisons is four times smaller than in Louisiana. Wow. Good job, guys. Assuming you are not in prison and that you are literate, then you should be making money for your family. Right. This one depicts the median income for an average household in each state. Darker blue means higher income, with California, Maryland, New Jersey and Massachusetts in the top places, earning on average more than $80,000 a year. How I am actually very surprised New York wasn't listed there. I thought, I thought people with like medium income in New York is quite high. However, some states earn two to three times less than that. Arkansas, Mississippi and West Virginia are among them. We've discovered that the more you earn, the more you spend. This is the same metric as the previous one, right. however, adjusted for the cost of living. This changes the situation. For example, California, Hawaii or New York now doesn't seem like the best places to live. Minnesota as the only state hasn't changed at all, meaning you can still make good money there without spending it all. Meanwhile, in states like huh? Florida, Mississippi, New Mexico or West Virginia, you are not only earning little in comparison with other states, but the cost of living is ripping you off any excess money you have. Yikes! 
Now, pay attention as this one is crazy. Okay. When you see it on the map, you are probably aware of the fact that many people live on the coast, but the extent of it might be surprising. Both areas on the map have the same population, even though one is about four times larger. Fun fact is that about half of the population in the US lives within 30 miles of the coast. Wow. We can also totally change the view. If we divide the US into four quarters like this, each one holds roughly the same population. This highlights a significant what? imbalance between different regions. The Bro, that's actually mad that like 50% of the population is 30 miles off the coast. Next map, depicting the fascinating topic of population is this one. Well, what you actually see is LA County okay. with almost 10 million people living within this area. When you put this into a broader perspective, we can say that each of the following states That's crazy. has a lower population than the little county part of Los Angeles. What? When talking about population density, why not take a look at who actually these people are? These are the biggest minorities in each state. At first sight, it's visible that Hispanics dominate the West, South and Central okay. America. Now, they are even forming the majority ethnic in California and New Mexico, making white people a minority. The largest minority in the East and Southeast oh, wow. are people of dark color, leading in total of 22 states. Meanwhile, the Native Americans are the second largest group only in four states. Hawaii, Maine and Vermont are predominantly populated by individuals of mixed ethnicity. That's interesting. Living in America could be dangerous. Unfortunately, crimes and murders happen every day. Oh, is this the following crime visualization rate? shows the rate of homicides per 100,000 people oh. in each state. Okay, I was going to say 15, 15 and 100K, right. New Mexico, Louisiana, and Mississippi rank as the top three most dangerous states. Yo, from this, like, USA explained in 30 miles, hey, the South is seeming a bit crazy. In like just in in a lot of aspects, bro. It's got the high numbers for nearly everything, you know what I'm saying? But then you know the size the South also looks like a good time. Like if I was gonna go to America, one of the first places I want to go to, like living wise as well, is I was looking at Texas. I know people in Texas, it looks really good, bro. Really good food as well in the South. But yo, there's some crazy stats here. However, there is still hope as some places have rates 10 times smaller than the worst cases. Among those are Idaho, Utah, Nebraska, Iowa and Maine with the lowest rate of them all. Only 1.7 homicides per 100,000 people take place there. And hey, that's not too bad. Yet homicide is not the only danger that lurks outside. Many people willingly put their lives at the risk daily when starting their car engines. Road fatalities are sadly part of the convenient transporting. Nevertheless, oh. it's interesting that some states tend to have even three times more car accidents than others. Whether it's due to driving habits or road conditions, data indicate that most road fatalities happen in South Carolina, as right behind wow. it are Mississippi and New Mexico. Honestly, no hate, but what is happening in Mississippi? <laughs> Mississippi. Yo, Mississippi, you guys got a little like crazy drivers driving around? You gotta let me know in the comments. Winners of this category are Massachusetts, Vermont, and Minnesota. Okay, I swear it wasn't my intention to speak badly about Mississippi, and I hope they will succeed in the following category. What is going on with Mississippi, bro? You guys are like rated high in like a lot of these. But they are at the lowest rank one more time. These what? are states ranked by their credit scores. Oh god. Massachusetts, Vermont, Minnesota, uh -oh. and New Hampshire take the lead once again. So far, these seem like decent places for life. Overall, North seems to handle their finances better right. than the South. Yo, to me, because I've seen so many videos on the South, especially with like food videos and stuff. To me, I'm just thinking the South are just spending all their money on food, bro. Like, I swear they had the highest stats for obesity, the food, right? They got the highest stats for bad credit score, the food. The highest uh, driving rates, the food, bro. They're driving to the food, you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess the long winters have an impact on that. 
We this have is learned large. that LA County is large, but yep. Los Angeles itself is not the biggest city out there. Do you know which one is it? New York. Well, if you have never heard about any city in the US, I bet you have heard about this one. New it's York. It's called New York yep. and it's located right here, as well as its almost 9 million population. In comparison, LA City is second with only 4 million. The rest of the top oh, 10 wow. largest cities in the US are Chicago, right. Houston, okay. Phoenix, Philadelphia, San Antonio, never heard of that one, San, San Diego, Antonio. Dallas, and San Jose. San, wait, wait, I've, I've heard of LA, I've heard of Phoenix, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, Dallas, Houston, LA, San Diego from GTA. I haven't heard of San Jose and San Antonio. I heard that. Interesting. Actually, I've heard of San Antonio from GTA. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. California takes the spotlight again in the following map, which ranks states by their GDP. It's unimaginable how large is the economy of California. Its One nominal trill? GDP sits at 3.6 trillion US. This surpasses the GDP of all countries in the world, except for China, Japan, Germany, and the US itself. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me California alone? GDP is higher than every single, like even the UK. What? Over than those countries? Yo, and it, what California alone? Nah, that's bad. It's even 1.3 trillion ahead of second place Texas. New wow. York State comes in third place with an admirable two trillion dollars. On the other end, the smallest economies are found in Alaska, Wyoming, and Vermont. Yo, the America's combined GDP is crazy. <laughs> with Vermont being the smallest of them all with 43 billion dollars. That is 90 times less than California. Oh, wow. Despite this, Vermont's economy is still larger than that of more than 97 countries worldwide. Ninety-seven countries, the lowest one in America. America, you're doing too much. We have talked about the most common country of birth of immigrants in the U.S., but do you have any idea how many of them are there? These are okay. the shares of the population born outside of the U.S. California, New York, and Florida are the most popular destinations. Right. Meanwhile, nobody wants to start a new life in Montana. West Virginia or Mississippi, which is not a surprise for me after this video. <laughs> Yo, when Mississippi in this video is getting it rough, bro. Hey, hey, anyone from Mississippi, let me know if you're from Mississippi in the comments. Hey, much love to you, man. Diverse population from different parts of the world. Language can be a barrier. Excluding English and Spanish, these would be the most commonly spoken languages in each state. Do you speak oh. any other language besides these two? If you are from the US, chances are you speak German, French or Vietnamese, as these are the most commonly found. I'm so surprised about German. I'm so surprised. I don't think I've ever came across somebody from America that, and, and I speak to a lot of you guys, that can speak German. Or even mentioned it. I'm so, I'm in shock. Among the less widespread ones are Tagalog, Russian, the native languages of Navajo, Yupik, Dakota or Monk, Polish, Arabian, Korean, Italian or Chinese. Going back to the old days when Europeans arrived and established settlements. These are the oldest cities in all of the US. The oldest of them all was found in Florida in 1565 by a Spanish admiral who named oh, wow. it San Agustin. Most of the oldest towns were situated on the east coast as that was the site from which the Europeans came. Wait, how is it? How is the two James towns? Huh? How, how, how is the two of them? But that wasn't a rule, as the third oldest city is located in New Mexico. I got the last map here, but this could be truly the deciding one for you. This map shows all states with Springfield on their land, What's while the darker ones have even more of them. And The only Springfield I know is Simpsons. 
<laughs> Why is it Springfield? Field on their land, while the darker ones have even more of them. And that's amazing. Huh? Well, I don't know I what that was. You have learned something. I did, thank you. So well, let me know in the comment section what Springfield is, but that was a really good video. I enjoyed that a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Really enjoyed that. Really will enjoy checking out what you guys are saying about this video, your opinions. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.